Hey everyone, this is Christine from Kyanite Psychic Services. I am a formally trained psychic reader and healer, a psychic development teacher, a trans medium, and a professional musician. So you can find out more about me and the services I offer on my website, which is kyanitepsychic.com. And you can check me out on social media as at Kyanite Psychic. So this is the second video that I'm making in the series that focuses on our psychic senses and how we might use them in everyday life. I talked about clairvoyance last time, and I'll put a link to that video in the description below. But today we're going to focus on three ways that you use clairaudience in your everyday life. So first of all, what's clairaudience? Well, that's psychic hearing right? We use clairaudience when we hear subtle sounds or voices that come from the realm of spirit. And these sounds occur in the mind's ear, you might say, right? Inside or head or can come from a place outside or above the body. I really got tripped up for a long time um, with clairaudience. I thought I didn't have this sense at all. And that's kind of funny because I have an acute sense of hearing as a professional musician that I've cultivated over time. And I just thought I wasn't clairaudient, but that's because I thought that clairaudience came from our physical ears and it really doesn't. So perhaps that's you. I hope that this video encourages you, you know, to, um, you know, realize that most of us are clairaudient and clairaudience is regulated uh, via the fifth chakra, right? The throat chakra, not surprisingly, that's our energy center that regulates communication. Okay. So here are three ways that you use clairaudience in your everyday life. The big one, have you ever had a song stuck in your head? You know, those earworms for better or for worse, right? Um, if the answer is yes, when you're hearing that song on loop in your head, you're using clairaudience right? That was the biggest one for me because I always hear songs in my head or, you know, one pops in my head. Oh, I got to listen to it now physically. Well, that was clear audience, right? So the second one, have you ever imagined the voice of a loved one saying words of endearment, of comfort, of encouragement, right? Either someone that you love dearly that's passed on or your significant other, you're just hearing their voice, right? Or imagining what their voice sounds like. Um, this is a wonderful and poignant example of using Claire audience. And the last one is pointed at creatives because that's, you know, my experience and purview. As a professional musician, I can 100% guarantee that if you play music, doesn't have to be professionally, but if you are musically inclined in any way, you use clear audience on a regular basis. And I want to say something, singers especially do this, right? They use clear audience to hear the pitch of the notes before they sing them, right? Most of the time, singers don't open their mouth and just, you know, whatever comes out, comes out. No, they're hearing the note before they sing it. And that whole process um, involves clear audience. Pretty cool, right? Also, people who write their own music, their own songs, their own symphonies, right? Um, they often hear it in their head before it gets on the paper, you know, whether it's in great detail or, you know, just an abstract idea or concept. And that also is a process that involves using clear audience, right? So again, not just limited to professional musicians. If you play guitar for fun, you're probably using your clear audience when you do that, right? So I hope that this video inspired you and helped you to realize that, you know, you are clear audience. <laughs> you have psychic senses. You use them all the time. And if you'd like to work with your psychic senses and develop them further to perceive energy, work with energy tools to heal yourself. I have a great four-week class called Psychic and Energetic Self-Healing that covers such subject. Um, it helps you learn how to ground and center, run energy, work with your psychic senses to protect yourself. You learn about your energy body and you learn tools to balance and heal yourself, to transform your experience. So I'll put a link 
to that class, more information about it and how to register in the description and comments below. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned. The next time I'll be talking about clairsentience, psychic feeling. And please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. And I'm sending you all my very warmest wishes.